how clear it is so recently I made a big mistake and I tried to shave my face dermaplaning kind of method huge fail so we're not gonna do that again if I do do my face again I'll show you guys a better way of doing it to start I don't have any makeup I do have lashes on and my eyebrows are permanent they are micro shaded on my girl gorgeous MUA did them I will leave her link down below in the description box I have dry skin and I don't really have too many problems with acne so I've been using this it is the Walgreens foam cleanser it is for sensitive skin oil free uh, my face is a little bit more on the sensitive side although it is normal it is like sensitive to normal so This, I actually use a few pumps of it just because it doesn't really like foam up on your face even though it comes out as foam. I'm the type of person, if I don't see suds, I think it's not working so I don't know if you're like that or not. So I usually take like one, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, just another one on top and then just Like in there. Uh, usually, like in my head, I be trying to count to see how long I should wash my face for. So I be trying to go to like 30 Mississippi or something like that. Oh. So next, I actually rubbed off the logo a little bit, but this is from Bombed Aesthetics. You probably have heard of them on Instagram. I will leave their link down below. And this is a turmeric hyperpigmentation mask. So I am going to apply this. It looks like, you know, muddy. I'm gonna just dig into this. Ooh. Added a little bit of water and now it's going on way easier probably should have done that a long time ago because it probably just got a little dried out I have hyperpigmentation around my eyes and it kind of gives me like a raccoon effect it's really around like this area that's really where I have hyperpigmentation so it's like kind of like a goggle kind of look for me I look kind of like green goblin right now but it really has been working. I've noticed my hyperpigmentation around my eyes has really lightened up a lot and I haven't used any other products for hyperpigmentation. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to tell you guys about some other products that I use. If I have on makeup at the end of the night, whenever I come home, stumble up the stairs, whatever I'm doing, about to get ready to go to sleep, I use the Palms Cold Cream Cleanser. And I actually found this at the 99 cent store when I got it. Uh, you can probably get it at Walmart and other places. It is a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover. So when you're putting this on, when you have on a full face of makeup, you take your lashes off, whatever detachable things on your face, you take those off. Then you put this on and you literally rub it in like a lotion and all your makeup is going to melt. I used to use the coconut oil. There's not really a particular reason why I stopped using coconut oil, but it's the same method. You just put it on your face and rub it. And I mean, this is really moisturizing and like your skin actually feels good after using it. Some other oils, you gotta like make sure you get all the oil off your face so your face don't feel bad afterwards. And then I also use this Radiant Refreshing Facial Cleanser. This is from Walgreens. If you have dry or sensitive skin, you should use this one to two times a week. 
So I might use it in the morning or I might use it at night, but I only use it sparingly. This I like a lot. It kind of like sets up like it is, you know, just a regular face wash, but uh, try to keep it away from your eyes. And yeah, I like this, but I don't use it as frequently as I use my foaming cleanser. So Walgreens, once again, sponsor me. Hello. So yeah, as you can see, some of it is like drying off. Some of it is like still wet. So I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. I didn't really apply it evenly because mine was kind of dry until I added a little more water in there. So yeah, I'm going to let most of it dry before I go ahead and rinse it off. So yeah, I'm looking like Green, green Goblin in this piece. Now that it's all dry and crusty, I'm going to just get my hair out the way real fast. So when I do my face masks, I actually use one of these makeup remover towels. I think I got this from like Shop Miss A or something. It's not the actual makeup remover towel, but it's a makeup remover towel. And I use this because for me, like the mud or clay masks, they are really hard to get off. And then I'll have to end up using some more facial cleanser. So I'm not trying to waste that. So I usually use these to get it off. So I'm going to use this and rinse my face off. And then we're going to finish it up. So your girls will go to sleep, okay? Okay, all right, so I got these cotton pads. They're just a dollar. And then I got this rose micellar cleansing milk from Sephora. So this is to like, if there's any more, I kind of use this as like a toner. If there's any more of like the mask or whatever on your face, you just use this. It will take it off and it's also just good to leave on your skin. So I usually do half with the front and then just do that half with the back. Okay, boom. Now we feeling good, okay? The next thing I use is this hydrating facial mist. This is also Walgreens brand. So I told you guys on Instagram Live, this is like the dupe I've been using for the Mario Badescu rose water spray. It is cucumber rose water and hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. So, you know, it's green, same color. So they actually had these on sale for like three or two dollars or something at Walgreens, so I got the rest of them. I ended up switching the nozzle for the one that I use after I do my makeup because this one sprays out like kind of, it's not a fine mist, it's kind of like straight. So I use this one with the regular nozzle for my night care, but if I'm doing my makeup, there's one with a different nozzle on it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to just spray this. And I spray a lot of it. Actually, in cosmetology school, for the brief time that I was in cosmetology school, they told me about making sure you put on a night cream. I always make sure I put on a moisturizer during the day, so it would only make sense to make sure you put on a moisturizer at night. Like, your skin should always be moisturized, especially if you have dry skin. So, since I have been having my razor burn, I have been using this vitamin a and b cream i think i just got this from the dollar store also if you guys watched Aaliyah j like a long time ago she used to use a and d ointment on her face uh because she has dry skin so yeah and then i also have this pons rejuvenous anti wrinkle cream so it's another pons product pretty sure i got this from dollar store too so yeah i'm just gonna use a little of this and a little of that and get it in there So what I was told, which I still have a hard time doing, 
is make sure that you're rubbing upward on your face, on your skin, on everything. Cause it'll, you know, fight against gravity and such. The last thing I do is get into these lips cause it is winter and I always like my lips to be moisturized. I feel like no matter how much I moisturize my lips, they're still crap. And I'm one of those people, I don't know about you, you feel free to do whatever you want. I'm one of those people that I put my chapstick, Carmex, whatever I'm using all over the outside of my lips because my lips have been cracking, but that's been like in the recent years. Usually I get chapped under my lips and like above my lips. I don't even get chapped on my actual lips. So I spread that all the way around town. So yeah, that's the last step that I do. Uh, a lot of times people ask me about my skin, what I do for my skin and how I care for it. Um, I don't really have problem skin. I don't really have that many problems with acne. I did kind of mess up my skin recently by trying to do the derma cleaning by myself. If I attempt it again, I'll let you guys know. And if you guys want to see a video on it, leave a comment down below. But yeah, I have a another affordable skincare routine that I did a few months back. I will link it down below if you guys want to watch that as well. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Check the description box for any links or discount codes. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, make sure you turn your notifications to all so that you won't miss a video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want. And I will see y'all later.